Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. What an amazing day it's turned out to be today. Yesterday we had high clouds dimming the sun a little bit and kind of adding to, well, okay, it feels a little chilly out, but today just blue skies all the way through. And I think this is the picture we'll see coming up right through uh, the weekend. In fact, look at that nice dry air. And so very vivid skyline there. When you take a look down at the the foothills, they're off in the distance, not much haze there. We've got just lots of blue skies and this will continue. Higher pressure has been building in. There's a storm system passing to our south. If you look way to the south, you can see high clouds off in the distance and they're just not making much progress to the north. And so we're going to have beautiful sunsets. And starting on Sunday, since we're springing forward, that sun will be uh, a little hour later at this time. As we continue to pan here, we're looking towards the southeast, now towards the south here. And uh, you can barely, yes, barely see the high clouds off in the distance there. And that's the, the northern extent of a storm system that is over southern Nevada and will eventually bring blizzard-like conditions to northeast Colorado, Wyoming, and Nebraska, but uh, not affecting us, taking the southern route, which is nice. 56 degrees right now. That's been the high for the day. That popped up a couple degrees warmer than uh, maybe had been expected, and winds about as I would have thought, up to 15 miles an hour. Not not terrible, but, you know, when the sun goes down tonight, you'll feel a chill in the air, certainly. Let's take a look at what's going on. And you see that cloud cover that we were looking to the south. It's just that little strip of clouds in Hawaii County. And even that is melting away. Near Elko, you see thunderstorms and thunder snow going on near the Elko area right now. As that low pressure system has been continuing to dive south through central, south central California. Everything rotating around it. So clouds going up to Salt Lake City and right up to the Idaho border. And it's almost like they stop right at the border there. That storm system, as it moves to the east will be replaced by milder weather just filtering in just by taking away the cool air the mild weather will just fill in around it and that's what's going to happen so we'll take a look at the storm system we've been tracking this and i want to keep following it through the weekend on course to go to our south cool the weather tomorrow will be very similar to today it might even be a degree or two maybe 54 55 you're not going to notice much of a difference wind will be fairly light but a little bit of a breeze then on saturday now lighter wind and milder conditions upper 50s are likely that storm system over the four corners will really start to crank up some snow beginning uh, on saturday and going into sunday uh, they're talking one to three feet of snow for denver the western suburb as you get closer to the um, front range of the Rockies, there could be upwards to 30 inches of snow. So that's a general one to three foot snowfall with two to four feet likely on the mountains. It'll be one of the bigger storms they've had in some time, all the way up to Cheyenne, everywhere you see that green over there. And then on Sunday, it's still hanging out and just hammering them while we are experiencing a delightful day. Saturday and Sunday all both look great. So there are the wind speeds right now. So I'm showing you, you know, there's some breezes going on. They'll die out tonight, tomorrow afternoon even a little less breeze than today and so a real pleasant day these are the maximum gusts that are likely during the day which is not much at all and then we go ahead to saturday and uh, even still it's south and east of boise where there may be a little bit of an afternoon breeze but the wind should be very light payette county washington county around ontario vale nissa homedale some amazing weather coming in with temperatures getting into the 60s and a beautiful day up at sun valley you see this bluebird skiing today Oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. And this is the way it's going to be. In fact, even those few clouds you see there are going to disappear at Sun Valley. And in town, 40 degrees now, going up to near 50 on Saturday and Sunday. Outdoor exercise forecast, blue skies tomorrow, chilly in the morning, but still good conditions for that uh, outdoor walk or jog or a bike ride, especially later in the day as it starts to warm up very pleasant weather for outdoor activities tomorrow. So sunny and mild in my Idaho News 6 weather forecast for the Treasure Valley. Temperature 54 degrees in Boise. May go up a degree or two more because look at Caldwell at 56, Ontario 57. Breeze from Cuna southeastward to Mountain Home, but less wind to the west. 42 in Pine and Featherville, but Garden Valley hits 50 tomorrow. Riggins 52. Amazing. 42 in McCall after a cold day. Again, if you've got snow on the ground, you're going to have another cold night. You'll have plenty of cold nights, but the afternoon to just so delightful with some good melting going on. So there's that warming trend. There's your three-day forecast, the three-day weekend, which, of course, you'll want to take tomorrow off because I'm expecting 54 on Friday, 57 on Saturday, and still, I think, around 63 on Sunday. Sunshine right through and maybe a couple of afternoon clouds coming into eastern Oregon, but you'll barely notice it. And we'll be springing forward, and so you'll have uh, the sun setting an hour later than it is right now. Beautiful. And even the cool down next week, Don, goes to 52. 
62. And then look at next Thursday, a week from today, we're back up to 62. So uh, the cool downs are just not quite as cold. I mean, there could even be a snow shower Monday morning, but I hesitate to even mention that because people think, oh, no, snow. That is not the gist of this forecast, as you can see. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks gorgeous in those numbers that uh, you're forecasting in Denver. That's crazy, crazy yeah. amount of snow. Impressive. Major yeah. snow coming in. A blizzard. We'll talk more about that as it comes through. Okay.